G'day and welcome to Farming Live Australia. Today I thought I'd talk about how we actually became full-time farmers. In Australia, I suppose, people living on rural blocks of land falls into three sort of categories and the really small pieces in Australia we call hobby farms and they're usually pieces of ground that people rely on outside income and just have a few cows and a few chooks and veggie garden and live the rural lifestyle but their income comes from off-farm work. Then you got medium-sized places or small places like ours which are probably up to a thousand acres and they do a diverse range of things usually have multiple income streams and then you've got what we call stations and stations in Australia are normally cattle stations or sheep stations and most of them rely on either beef or sheep or a combination of both and they're usually big areas probably from 15,000 acres up to hundreds of square miles. So we fall into the middle category. We've only got a small place. <clears throat> we rely on farming for our income and we do a couple of different things on the place plus we have some off farm income. What I'd like to tell you about today is how we actually became farmers. Our background is that neither my wife nor myself came from farming families didn't have any sort of connection with farming families, but were both very keen on the outdoor life. I was from a young age in another primary industry. When we first got married, we spent all our spare time camping and going away into the countryside. We both really liked animals, and so we've had an interest in the country life most of our adult life. The first place we had together was a hobby farm and we were both working at other jobs but you know we had a couple of cows and a few horses and we had chooks and which for overseas people are chickens. We had ducks and all that sort of stuff. Weekends we were going out to our friend's place but that we'd met through camping they had a farm and they had beef cattle and we used to help them with their beef cattle so we got to know a bit about the whole industry and I suppose that gave us a long term interest in farming and they out at that place they made hay and did all sorts of different things, grew veggies and so we got an inside view of what farming was like and of course when you don't have to deal with the realities of it it probably looked a bit shinier than it actually was. So we spent the next 25 years in another rural industry working together a lot of the time, most of the time in fact and then that industry sort of came to an end because the government targeted it and didn't want us there anymore so we had, to, we had a bit of a hiatus in our life, well what are we going to do? <clears throat> and we didn't intentionally think we were going to go farming, but we were pretty cheesed off with the situation we were in. And we decided to buy the block that I'm now sitting on, which was overrun with trees and it was just totally, you couldn't use it for farming whatsoever, it was just... It was just a monoculture of wattle trees because it had been clear, cleared and left go. The only thing that was growing on the place was wattle trees and lantana. And the lantana was up to the top of any natural trees that were left. I mean, it was just crazy. And all we were going to do was just clear a little bit of it, put a shack on it, and more or less just bug out and society could go to hell. Anyway, after a while we got the place and we started looking around and cleaning up a little bit to put some sort of a dwelling on it. And I realised that it was really good soil and it was a really good climate. And after a while, after we got over our initial disappointment of being 
more or less forced out of our other industry, sort of picked ourselves up and decided that we'd try and do something with the place that we'd bought here. We didn't have in mind to turn it into a cattle place and or anything like that. We just thought we'd clean it up and try and make something of it, make it a nicer place and do something. I, I don't know initially what we thought we were going to do with it, but anyway, we just thought that we would do something with it. After a while, another two blocks up the road that were joined together came up for sale and we bought one of them because we couldn't afford any more than one of them. And then the other block that was available, we could afford after a year or two, and we bought that as well. So with the three blocks together, we were able to have enough to have a viable farm. Now, when I say viable, that depends on your interpretation of viable. Whether it be a hobby farm, a farm like ours, or a big station, I think we all have our ups and downs on places. And I think it's all about the lifestyle. I think you either like the country's lifestyle or you don't. And it's not for everyone, but it is for us. We get a lot of enjoyment out of it. Anyway, that's about it for this edition of Farming Life Australia. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll catch you next time.